Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm the Savvy Gaming here, and today I'll be casting a 1v1 Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition game between the red player, MBL, playing as the Celts, and his opponent up to up to the top is the blue player, Aleperan AoE. I think that's how you pronounce it. He'll be playing the Chinese. Now, they're playing on a map called Arabia. And uh, MBL at the time of casting, MBL's ELO rating is around 20, 2500, and his opponent's NBA um, ELO ranking is around, I believe it was, it was a little bit below 2200, and M MBL was also a little bit below 2500. So, this is going to be a high level gameplay. Um, and looking at the civilizations, um, I can see that, you know, based on, you know, Celts, they're more of an infantry slash cavalry civilization, um, and his opponent, you know, the Chinese, they're more of a, a, a archer civilization, so chances are, I mean, you know, this is going to be mainly archers with probably you know pikemen um, kind of mixed in there and the mbl is probably just going to stick with either infantry or cavalry so nothing crazy going on um going on yet i, I see there's two wars here um wait, did he even push no he's just scouting this area and as you see uh looks like the blue player is already pushing the deers. I think he may have pushed two of them already. I'm not sure. He got this first boar. Yeah, he's been pushing the deers down to try to get more food. Um, I think MBL is just more likely to just. He's just trying to scout. And it looks like he figured this is the hill. He's just gonna wall here. Maybe just continue walling here. Wow, that is a really long wall. And he's probably gonna have to wall down here, and then oh, same goes with the blue player. But he might just wall here and here, and then maybe oh wow, maybe wall here, and then just stick to here, and then leave this open because you don't really want to fight next to the town center. Okay, let's see what is going on. Nothing really, just grabbing more boars and doing the town center, um, <coughs> the town center trick. Now, I'm not familiar with him now, but uh, this player, I, I, I've never heard of him before. But I feel like it's it's always a good um, always a good chance to cast these games. That way, they kind of um, kind of give them recognition for playing these games, for playing against these other players. Because whenever you watch other people casting, they typically like to cast uh, MBO versus another high level, high rank player, um, maybe in like a tournament settings. But for me, I, I like to cast games. Um, you know, whether it's high level or low level, because I I, I, I believe you know, every every other player, every player deserves some kind of recognition to show their skills, even though they might not be as high as you know some of those top level players. But it's just me. I I I, I love casting. Um, I I watched it before, and I just love casting games now. So I'm not using that um, that capture age U UI. Um, I'm still not familiar with it. Maybe maybe afterwards when I get more familiar with it, I will start to uh, use that uh, use that user interface. But right now I'm just sticking to this because it's just it's fairly simple. And I mean, although you don't get oh shoot oh no he's gonna lose the scout oh oh almost. Um, I'm just more familiar with this. Um, 
this is very simple although there isn't a whole lot of information given out to you like um because i know the other one it's like there's just so much information for you to see so you can kind of analyze the game even further but i'm just gonna stick to this temporarily until i get a hang of the other ui and uh let's see so it looks like they're both getting a rack already and maybe perhaps there's gonna be some kind of rush for the Celtics. For the Celts. I'll call them Celtics. No. This is not the NBA. Uh -huh. So it looks like there's gonna be some kind of aggression. Feudal age aggression. And maybe it was it's just there to kind of um, cause the other player to react and hopefully mess up their economy because when you when you come in here they're gonna freak out I mean although this is already kind of oh there we go we got the archer raiders although over here is kind of already protected so there's nothing to really worry about um, because the other player is gonna try to loop in here but it's probably not ideal because they're probably gonna get hurt uh, let's see, there. I think he's gonna start going with some archers. And, oh, archery range? Wow, this is like almost identical. They're basically, it's almost like they're doing identical builds. Seriously, they're, it's like one after another archer ranges, then houses, then houses, and then they're rallying. They're, I guess this player's not rallying his, his units. So it's, it's very common to see archers because they're more uh, mobile. They tend to be able to uh, shoot the units and then just run away. Versus if you had an infantry, they really do a whole lot. You know, they would just run in, attack, and then. Now this is just oh you can take a high ground. This is just early impression to kinda of put on pressure. To kinda of just put on pressure towards the other player. And maybe he's just doing this to kind of cause um, Blue to react to the situation. He might start, you know, this Blue player might start pumping out more units than necessary to try to defend and not actually, not actually continue uh, uh, with his economy. So I think. He's yeah, he's just worried that there's going to be more units streaming in, so he's going to just continue making archers. He's just afraid something's going to happen. And it looks like the engagement might be in favor of Blue at the moment because um, because he just had more reinforcements. I mean, I mean his reinforcements were just arriving earlier versus red he had to versus MBL he had to walk all the way down here now we're having oh he's trying to see oh he took the high ground now let's see blue should probably take the high ground so a fun fact is that um, I, I don't know if it was like this in the in, in the original game, but if your archers, if anything is shooting from the high ground, they do an additional 25% damage. So these archers they'll do maybe um, instead of doing five, they'll do like six damage, and that's a pretty big deal. Considering uh, it, it might not seem like a big deal, but it is. It, 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 that one extra damage can make the make a, a 
big difference. Oh, look! He sneaked! And... Oh, wow. I didn't even see that. <coughs> he sneaked some archers here. Wow, that is a lot of villagers on one wood line. He needs to get another wood line, perhaps over here. Oh, that was that was a nice strategy. Um, he basically had some units come here to kind of push back his his original army. The visual count is pretty much just a difference of four. And it looks like Blue is adding in some scouts. And then that's two food, he doesn't care about two food. And he's going to oh no, he's still gonna split up his army. But oh wow, this is a big army. I believe he saw that. Did you see that? He kind of has a feeling that it's going to get here. So... This has... 17... Versus roughly... Say 17, 17. Mixed in with some skirmishers. Oh, oh, this is not good. He's just going to keep streaming units. But we're only in view range. It's only few rage guys. It's only few rage. Basically his whole army oh I think this is over. His whole army is gone. And MBL. Wow. He basically lost his whole army and MBL didn't even lose anything. MBL barely lost anything. I think that was the final straw, like he just I think he was focused too much on trying to kill villagers versus fighting his army and maybe he walked maybe he wasn't yeah, he just didn't bother to attack his other attack the army here. And he kinda got stuck over here. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's it. Um it was a pretty quick game. Didn't even get to Castle Agent. Okay, well, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this game, and I'll see you guys next time.